Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is FIFA Beetle and welcome to another player review. Today we have Team of the Week in Form 86 overall, Lenglet, Clement Lenglet from Barcelona, the French man, the French musketeer, uh, the French man. So uh, if you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe if you have not already and uh, please leave a thumbs up. It means a lot, it helps the channel grow, especially if you're not going to sub, at least please leave a thumbs up. Uh, but yeah. Today, we're going to go over the team of the week uh, play right here. I believe we played them in Division 1, so nothing but Division 1 gameplay in this video. No mix of foot champs or nothing like that. Uh, so right here, we're just going to go over his stats, and then we're going to go over the gameplay towards the end of the video, and I'm going to give you his pros and cons of what I think of him and what division I recommend him in. And uh, yeah, I give him an overall rating of 1 through 10. So right here, you can see Clement Linglet. He is six foot one. I've had him for nine games, uh, no goals and no assists, no cards. So that's good. He has a medium work rates of medium high, or he has player work rates of medium high. He is left footed, skill moves two star, but he has a beautiful uh, four star weak foot for a uh, defender. So that's a very nice. Uh, so that's Clement Lenglet. Now let's look at some of his uh, in-game stats. So right here you can see Clement Lenglet with his in-game stats. He has a 78 acceleration and 74 sprint speed. He has 76 overall pace, uh, which is actually pretty uh, nice, honestly. But except in this game, that just don't cut it. This is more of like FIFA freaking 16, 17, and maybe 18, where that pace is okay. But uh, in this FIFA, it's not. It's, uh, it's all about 80 pace overall players. And you got to have at least some kind of sprint speed of somewhere in the 80s, at least close to it, at least super close to it. 74 just don't cut it. But you can see we have him with an anchor. Maybe we should have tried shadow, but I wanted to get his strength up with his heading. I should have gone shadow. Would have boosted it to 88 and his sprint speed to 84. Uh, but we didn't. We used anchor. And right here is interceptions. You can see it's 88 plus 5 with the anchor. And then heading accuracy it goes 84 plus 5, making it 89, uh, which is really nice. And then his defensive awareness, which I really like is a 91 plus to 5 with the anchor is 96 tackle is very solid makes it 97 with the anchor and slide tackle goes to 92 with the anchor jumping with the uh, anchor 96 his stamina is not the best his strength is not the best could be stronger it uh, goes to 94 though with the anchor and aggression goes to 86 another thing to look at this guy has decent reactions with ball control being pretty highlighted green right there and composure 83 pretty nice and his short passing is uh, very nice for a center back has to be good if he plays for Barcelona in 76 a uh, long passing which is uh, decent but you can't complain with the center back with those stats now let's look at some player traits right here he has power header so you know he's gonna thrust extra hard with his neck muscles uh, to get that ball out or to try to score even though he doesn't show up to your corners because uh, you might have somebody better than him that's a uh, at header so you, he might not always pop up so I didn't really get a chance to see how he acts in corner kicks now let's get into some gameplay hopefully you have subscribed at least left a, thumb, left a thumbs up by now uh, yeah let's get to some gameplay whoa, whoa before we uh, move on to the gameplay actually here's uh, the freaking team I used him in it's uh, it's still a Sierra team but I managed to get everyone on 10 cam right here it's uh, actually a pretty nice uh, I guess you could call it a hybrid or a hybrid wing because it's not really much of a whole team hybrid but the defense is what matters because we wanted to to review Clement Lenglet. So now let's get into some of, the, some of the gameplay now that you've seen how he's paired up with Kundekunts and um, uh, the freaking goalie for Barcelona, whatever his name is. All right, now we're in the gameplay portion of the video. Hopefully you have liked it if you made it this far, and if not, or I mean it, and if you really liked it, you have uh, hopefully subscribed by now for more future uh, team of the week or inform reviews or just card reviews or player reviews. Uh, you can see Linglet in his uh, habitat right here, uh, I guess going crazy. Um, you can, uh, What I noticed about this dude is uh, he has uh, beautiful tackling and beautiful marking, so that's why I put it as a pro. His uh, slide tackle is uh, pretty decent. I didn't get to use too much of it, but his standing tackle, now that's something I did use a lot of. And uh, it's really strong, especially if you're one-on-one -on -one with the guy, but the guy's in front of you, like if he's taking you on. It's even he's even more solid when he has a safety net. So uh, when I mean that is like let's say you're playing like a, a drop back, even though I don't. Uh, but sometimes your team just gets pushed back so deep that your guy, your your, your, your opponent just starts doing possession, like kind of like right here where your whole center backs are just like just waiting to be scored on. Uh, kind of that last line of defense. Uh, he does a decent job in tackling in those areas. 
but not all the time uh, and it's not penalty free guarantee but he does do a decent job at sticking his little uh, French bread into the freaking mix and taking the ball out but uh, he, he does have good passing but I didn't put it as a pro because I mean it didn't show for me as you can see there's a lot of missed passes I don't know if I got like the expired French bread uh, version of him because his passing is like expired French bread like they left it out in the sun and it's just every time he passes it just crumbles man it just doesn't work out uh, but his, uh, his marking is beautiful tracking back and uh, watching that guy make his run he does uh, he does mark him very well except sometimes his pace just lets him down I think you could see a bit of his marking right here how he cuts him off he sees the danger he uh, kind of guides you towards cutting him off and he does a good job at that it's just I don't know what it was about Kundekunz uh, paired up with him in the back that it just didn't work out too well even though Kundekunz did do a good job but he's just so freaking aggressive man he just like calm down all you do is see his freaking see his hair just shaking everywhere pushing up against every guy Linglet's just chill back there with his medium high work rates while Linglet's just freaking running a marathon back there but uh, he, he, he could be paired up pretty nicely with other players, uh, maybe a Varon, Someone that's relaxed, someone that just doesn't freaking run all over the field. Because Langlet's more of a like grab a glass of wine type of guy, and, you know, relax. But uh, his cons, uh, I mean, speaking of relaxing, is his speed. It it's just doesn't work in this FIFA. Maybe in other FIFAs, like I mentioned, it'd it work out, but not on this FIFA. This FIFA, it, it just doesn't work. Um, his uh, stamina is 77, I believe, so it's it's not the best. Uh, so it you might not make it towards extra time in a foot champs if that ever happens. Uh, you better just either put your goalie up or put freaking uh, Lenglet as goalie because he's going to be dead tired. But look, you can see some of his marking right here in action. Uh, in his beautiful primal state right there he does a good job at marking right here you can see Osvaldo Sanchez trying to get in there but uh, I guess Teo did the work but I just I guess showed some passing right there Osvaldo Sanchez coming back for more Linglet's aggressive look at him boom boom he's crazy then he just runs away and he, he, he kind of remembers that he's a center back so he kind of chills because he needs a he needs a relax a beautiful goal by uh, De La Feu right there if I mean if he didn't make him that's kind of sucks man he missed out on a good player Right there, De La Fell. Sanchez again, he wants more. Linglet didn't have none of it. Damn, the score's 5 1. Poor guy, I didn't even realize that. Um, man, there were some instances where I was like, man, it's so hard to get freaking cup, uh, footage of uh, center backs that I just put everybody on all out attack with high pressure, put the freaking death at maximum 10. Jesus Christ, man, we got freaking murdered. Uh, Krusty Kunz or Kunda Kunz didn't do crap. He was so aggressive. He just left <laughs> poor Linglet by himself. And we got scored like six goals. God damn it. It was disgusting, man. I don't think I showed it because uh, I was like, oh, these people are just going to think I suck. They're not going to believe that I did the 10 freaking plus depth to make it all maxed out. Uh, I'll start doing that from now on, though, when I'm reviewing center backs because it's so hard to get footage. I'm just going to max out the freaking depth. And just put a bunch of pressure and see how much pressure they could handle. Maybe I'll do like uh, if they could handle getting scored on three goals or less. I don't know. Maybe that considers as a center back hat trick. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, remember stay Gucci not Pucci. Leave it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I give this guy an 8.3 out of 10. He is solid. He has division one quality, but his pace lets him down. Just remember that. There's his price right top corner for all consoles that I can think of except your Game Boy. Stay Gucci Napucci. I'll catch you guys next time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video.